Hi, this is Tom Shanahan of SpiritualAdrenaline.me. I'm here today with Brandon Hayward, who's a New York City-based personal trainer and whose motto is sustain your change. So Brandon's here today to tell us what that means, how he picked the motto. Brandon, thank you so much for coming out. Thanks for having me. Tell me about it. Sustain your change. What does that mean? It means that both for myself and for my clients, I value sustainability over fast changes that may not stick. (laughs) A lot of us out there, if we if we find some short bursts of motivation, can change our bodies within six weeks. Like it's possible. We can really restrict calories. We can go crazy with our workouts. We can change our lives. But the thing is, 90% of the population will not have the ability to stick with that huge change right away. Mm-hmm. Most people need gradual gradually implemented changes to actually change their lives for the long run. Okay, and what type of, like, how many changes can one person attempt at one time? Do you have recommendations on how best to do it so that you succeed with making lifestyle modifications? Yeah, so 85% of the population can Mm -hmm. succeed at changing one thing at a time. Okay. If they have some input in picking out that modification and if they believe that there's at least a 9 out of 10 chance that they can stick with it. In other words, it's a realistic goal, it's not a stretch goal. 35% of the population can succeed with making two changes at once that are like that Mm -hmm. and only 10% of the population can succeed with making three changes like that at once or more. So 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 the way that I work with my clients Mm -hmm. is I look at a food log, I come up with three to five ideas of things that we could change to get them to their physique and wellness goal. Mm And then I get their input. Which of these are at least a 9, if not a 10 out of 10 realistic? And then we start with those and only one at a time. And yes, it does take some patience. And yes, it is more like the tortoise than the hare. But we all know who ultimately wins that race. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And let me ask a question. You brought up a food log. Yeah. In the context of food, this, this, inf- this is... Um, this is relevant, but is it also relevant in the context of other lifestyle modifications? Yeah, absolutely. Like, give me some other examples from clients that you've worked with. So a lot of my clients, well, we live in New York City, so I'm a type A personality, and <laughs> most of my clients are. We're entrepreneurs, we're uh, you know, CEOs, we're successful driven people, and what that can often lead to is a sacrifice of sleep and self-care. So one of the things that I do work on with my clients is implementing meditation in their lives. Mm-hmm. Um, setting an earlier bedtime, uh, restricting work after 7 p.m., for example. And so modifying one thing at a time in those arenas works just the same as in food. One of the reasons I asked you to come on this blog is because I I really respect the protocols that you follow, and I I read your posts on Facebook, and I like that you integrate sustainable change and you also integrate lifestyle change beyond just, you know, lifting weights or let's say in the context of nutrition. So if you're interested in sustaining your change and working with Brandon or learning more about his technique and protocols, you can visit his website, which is www.brandonhayward.com. Brandon, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having me.